Hello everyone and welcome to the setup and installation of Digisol DGBR4313NG 3G broadband router which belongs to the green series from Digisol and is a full fledged router for home and office use. So let's get started with its installation. So as you can see that this window is on the screen. So basically you need to pop in your CD that comes with the Digisol DGBR4313NG and uh, follow the instructions on this window to set the router up. So basically the thing is that when you uh, use this router on a pre-configured WAN network, so this router will configure itself automatically and give you the connection. But if you want to configure it uh, to specific ISPs in your home for example, then you, need to, then you need to follow these steps. So let's get started with it click next so first you need to connect the WAN port from the modem or the network to the router and click next so next you need to connect one end of the provided network cable with the router to the LAN ports of the computer and click next now you need to power the router on so to do that plug the included power adapter to the wall socket and power on the router by sliding the power on button at the back of the router and now you need to enter the credentials for logging in to the router to do that you need to enter the default password which is 1234 but you can change this password after we have finished the installation press login it will take some time and here you go so here you have the configure internet connection type window so as you can see this router has also supports 3g and 3.5g dongle so you can connect a 3g dongle to the usb port on the router and use the network from that dongle on your pc or laptop so you can choose this connection or you can choose other connections such as dynamic ip triple poe static ip double ptp l2tp so let's go with dynamic IP for now. Click next. If you need to provide a new host name, then you need to click here or else click directly next. The router will configure itself now to the internet and it will take some time to load. So after the loading window is gets done, you will see a window that shows internet connection success and congratulations your router has been successfully configured to the internet and connected to it. So click next to continue the wireless settings here and here you need to configure the wireless settings for your router and use this window to name your router. So let's name it default as Digisol. Click next. Here you need to provide a wireless key or security key for that. So let's provide it right now. For example admin. Click next. Oh it needs 8 characters at least so let's enter something bigger. For example, password. Click next. Here you can see the configuration complete window. Here you will see the DHCP client type, the wireless name or SSID, the wireless security measure and the security key. Click finish to finish the wizard and the system will restart. That is your router will restart after the seconds mentioned on the screen and the connection will be completed and you can easily access your router. So you can also use the other features on the router window such as the uh, wireless security features or firmware upgrade features or quick installation guide and user manual to do other things other things so thanks for watching stay tuned